these are the Vivo Barefoot Trail FGs. And today I'm going to be putting them to the test up here on Crow Patrick. But first, let's look at the specs. These are the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail Firm Ground Shoes. And being a Vivo shoe, they aim to give you that barefoot feeling while walking. The Trail FGs are a versatile off-road shoe with ultra-thin soles plus an extra wide toe box for maximum sensory feedback. The outsoles are designed with a low profile multi-directional lugs for extra traction on moderately wet surfaces and dry rocky terrains. They are a high performance vegan shoe, yes you heard that correctly, as they are produced using animal free materials. They are also made with recycled PET plastic bottles. The FGs are designed to be lightweight, durable, flexible and breathable. So let's put them to the test. So I've really enjoyed wearing these Vivos for the last couple of months. It takes a bit of time for your feet to get used to them. I felt like I really wanted to test them out and see what they were capable of and see what I could do with them. So I decided to make this video. Now Vivo are not sponsoring this at all. This is all off my own back. I'm just doing it for the fun of it really and um, <laughs> probably fun isn't the best word to be honest with you. But the, the challenge? I've got roughly a 2.5k walk around this wooded land here so it's gravelly sort of woody trails then I've got about a 6k slog on hard unforgiving Irish tarmac or as you Americans would call it asphalt and then I've got that massive slog up Crowpatrick which is going to be which is going to be tough <laughs> Well, I'm out of the woods. Uh, technically, I'm out of the woods, but I still got a fair old schlag yet. Time to hit the tarmac. So the shoes are really, really comfortable. The FGs are really, really nice on the gravelly paths. You don't really feel it too much. I can already feel the stones at the bottom of my feet. And uh, do you know what, it's not actually too bad. I just suppose I'm, I'm so used to hiking boots, and really comfortable ones. Um, it's a different type of experience. Now the test will be whether or not, after cumulative pounding on the ground, my feet are still okay. Well hey, puddles! fairly pounding now on the roads and listen hey the shoes they're holding up well they're holding up well so far so good no issues no problems at all they're holding up well the feet are good it's a tiny bit wet but I don't mind that as much but here comes the real challenge So the main reason I picked Kirkpatrick is not just because it's close to me, but even now, people still walk up this mountain in their bare feet. I mean, it's tough. It is loose shale. It is sharp rocks. It is tough going in your bare feet. That's why I'm really putting my feet to the test with these. Now, the reason for the feet walking is mainly got to do with penitence. People feeling guilty for their sins. Other people do it for the challenge. I'm not that hardcore. I am wearing the Vivos. And it's not too bad so far. So they made it to the top and it worked out quite well actually. Uh, these shoes are 
excellent. No problems at all getting to the top. Feet are in very good shape. Just be interesting to see how they get on the way down. That's gonna be another challenge, but for now, let's go and enjoy the views. <laughs> this is always the most dangerous part of Pro Patrick. 80% of Mayo Mountain Rescue's call-outs are coming down this part. You can see why. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One thing I absolutely love is jumping from rock to rock when I'm out hiking. I absolutely love it. And these shoes, the grip on these shoes, at first I was a bit tentative and I was taking it easy, but then I just let fly and I was jumping from rock to rock. I was going down uh, the steep, steep parts. And yeah, I was loving it, absolutely loving it. I don't know what it is. The grips on them is fantastic. The flexibility on the shoe seems to be able to allow you to do any sort of jumping maneuver that you want. They're definitely not waterproof. They're definitely not waterproof. Lovely. These shoes are amazing. They, I mean, I don't really have that many bad words to say about them, to be honest with you. The great thing about these shoes is they do exactly what they say on the tin. Breathability in them is excellent. You know, they're, they're super lightweight. So far, they seem quite durable, but only really time will tell. And I mean, they're amazingly flexible. You could twist these any which way. They'll just bounce back. And the flexibility seems to work extremely well with one of the best aspects of these and that's the grip and um, i was pleasantly surprised how good the grip is but dry conditions these shoes are excellent they're, they're so good the 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 lugs really really do work and the flexibility giving your feet room to move it's just it's just it's just an excellent combination of grip so the cons um waterproofing hey <laughs> because it's breathable because it's fully breathable and um, you get that trade-off with uh, the waterproofing and the other slight one is the, the quick tie uh, to me it, it kind of looks a bit flimsy uh, I'll have to see how well it holds out over time and of course the big question is will I be wearing these shoes hiking drum roll please And the answer is, no, I'm not gonna be wearing these hiking. Um, these are an excellent shoe, they're absolutely brilliant, but really be that comfortable to be trudging through wet, cold, damp, boggy conditions uh, when these uh, will let in all the water that you walk through. That being said, what I would use these for is using them as a second hiking shoe, especially if I've got to walk on country lanes or roads for a certain period of time. I mean, these shoes will just fold into anything. They're super lightweight and you can bring them anywhere. You can bring them in the backpack, perfect. I think they're absolutely perfect for a secondary hiking shoe on hard roads or country lanes. If you're looking for them, there's a description below, click the link and it'll bring you straight to them and you can own your own pair of Vivos. So guys, that's my first review done. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been an interesting one to make, totally different for me. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber is a massive help to me. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you enjoyed what you've watched. Don't forget to check me out on social media, Instagram and Facebook, uh, Mountain Mike's Adventures, there and there. And um, all that's left to do is say, good luck guys, happy hiking and take care.